This is my first thrift stop of the day and of course the first aisle I go to is the beauty aisle looking for discontinued beauty items and discontinued hair products. I probably should have scanned this hair color really quick just to see if it was discontinued but I didn't. I didn't check this one or that Revlon. Now those can be worth some really good money, especially if they discontinue that line or a specific color. And that's an easy look up. I could have just scanned that with my eBay app. Now this is the first product that I pick up. I have sold this before in the past and this isn't a huge money maker, but these sell very quickly and I should profit somewhere around $15 off of that within the first four weeks of listing it. So I pass up this Massengill right here, but I do go back and look it up and that country flower scent is discontinued and in a different box, they're selling for around $25. And since the box was different, I did not pick it up. And it's supposed to be a four pack. It was only a two pack. There were two missing. So I left that one behind, but just an FYI, definitely keep your eye out for weird items like that that sell. So the beauty aisle was just not giving today and usually I do really well in the beauty aisle at this store. So now I move on to small kitchen appliances which is another thing that I love to sell. I thought that was really neat but it was just a cheaper brand. I've never seen an electric fry pan that small. So usually I work my way through a thrift store going to certain aisles that I like to sell items from. So I always find the beauty aisle first if they have one or any hair tools, that type of thing. And then I will move on to small kitchen appliances from there and then linens and then just go down whichever aisles I haven't gone down. But I always go down my favorite aisles first. I always pick up these jello molds, the little jelly bean molds. These usually, I will lot them together. I like to get at least three or four lotted together and then sell them for around 20 to $25. So I don't show you guys, but I take quite a bit of time more than I like to looking at this food processor. So some of them were selling for decent money, but once I saw the sell-through rate was less than 25 percent i went ahead and passed on it now i could part this out and it would probably take me a while but i could make money on this but i'm trying to get away from the slower sellers i don't think there is anything that i just walk by at the thrift store i always look through stuff and i'm always looking for something that looks weird something that looks old something that draws my attention those are usually going to be the items that have resale value and that other people are looking for even craft items if you get on ebay type in yarn sort by solds and sort by the highest price sold and you would be blown away at how much some yarn can sell for. So don't pass up anything. Do a little bit of research. Educate yourself on some different items that you would normally pass up. So for whatever reason, I have in my head that yellow is the 75% off color this week. And it's not. It's the new rotation color. So I do end up purchasing this Target Fiber Optic Village. I paid up for it. I paid 20 but I think I can get 80 for it. I don't mind waiting until closer to Christmas if that's how long it takes me to get $80 for this but I know it's worth 80 and I know because of Terapeak it has sold for 80 in the past. I do end up passing on this Christmas item just because it does not include the power cord and in the past I would have probably bought this and claimed I was going to buy a power cord for it never did and it just sits on my death pile so I passed it up but the last one did sell on eBay for $50. I was able to find that on Terapeak. And Terapeak is now available on the eBay app. If you go to my eBay, then selling, and then scroll down and just above your feedback, you will see the Terapeak tool right there where you can search the last three years of eBay solds. This nativity scene was huge, but I passed that up as well. I'm just not, again, interested in picking up slower moving items. And right now, that nativity scene would be a slow seller. Closer to Christmas, it would probably sell but I don't want to store that really big item from now until Christmas time. And I don't want to tie up more money into Christmas items. Again, unless they're really fast sellers. 
So before I head out, I want to test this fiber optic scene and make sure it actually works. $20 is quite a bit to tie up in an item and then get it home and it not work and you can't return it. And it does work. So I do decide to pick it up even though it's not the 75% off color like I had thought it was. So I decided to head out of town and not even realizing that it's Monday and only two of the thrift stores that I like to go to in this town are open. But this one always has a ton of beauty products. And it looks like somebody donated a ton of their Avon. And I do put this in my cart, but I end up putting it back. But this is a big time bolo. This giant Kerplunk game is probably gonna sell for around 60 to $75. And these have a 100% sell through rate. So if you see any of these this summer at garage sales or at the thrift store, pick them up. So I've been selling beauty products online for probably three or four years now. So certain brands are burned into my brain, but for the most part, I have to look up 80% of what I find still. People always ask, how do I know what to pick up? And for the most part, I don't. It's all from looking stuff up and researching before I get to the thrift store. Now I've sold this before in the past. My daughter ended up taking this though. I will throw up a comp and show you guys what it sells for. Now Avon makeup really does not sell very well. At least everything that I have found and looked up has not been worth picking up. So all of this stuff in here, I pass on it. I do look up some of the pieces that I have never seen before, like the bronzing pearls. And those were just very low resale value and very, very low sell through rate. The only Avon products that I end up picking up are these two liquid foundations and I will probably get somewhere around $20 for each of these. The tricky part is they are expired because they're discontinued so I will have to sell these on Mercari. If I put these on eBay it'll be a listing violation. Very few Avon perfumes are also worth picking up. I did look that one up because I've never seen it before and that one again very low sell through rate and not worth very much. Now I recognize the heart on this box right away. I did not know that Brighton made perfumes. I have only seen their purses before in the past. So I did pick this up and I already have this one listed. It was brand new. When I look up Glytone, some of their items sell for really good money, but I could not find this exact item. But I did end up purchasing it and I just put my own price on it, listed it, and I take best offers. So I'm just gonna see what happens and take a decent offer if one comes in. I'm now in the checkout line and I noticed they have some perfumes in the case right here. So I do end up picking up one of these. The other ones weren't really worth picking up and the lady told me that they had a ton of perfumes donated and this is all that was left. So that's kind of sad to hear and don't mind my fingers in the shot. So I do pick up this perfume right here and this will be another Mercari listing. There is just a tiny, tiny bit missing from it. I'd say it's about 98% full. So just to make this a more realistic thrift trip for you guys, I do stop at this store right here and I don't end up picking up anything. This store is huge and this is like the third time that I've come all the way out here and I have not found anything at this store. At first I think I'm going to pick this up and I end up opening it up to make sure everything is inside and it's missing the main little piece that holds all of the little windmills in place so I don't end up picking this up and I probably spend about 40 minutes in this store and I don't pick anything up. So I definitely strike out at the thrift store just like everybody else and not every trip is worth it and sometimes I do go home empty handed. But that would make really boring videos. That's why you don't see too many videos like that. People who make videos like I do, we usually just show you guys all of the really great finds that we have and sometimes we have to splice those together from multiple days and multiple different thrift trips. I recently sold just the sensor to this game, so I went ahead and picked this one up. This is the Big Buck Hunter, and this just plugs into the TV. It's like an arcade game. I do keep a little 10 inch TV in my basement, one of the older ones, to test items like this out. I priced mine right in the middle of those two comps at $45 plus shipping. And then I kind of check out this Maglite for a little bit. 
So I know these sell, they usually sell for like around $15, but that one was priced at four and then it had some etching in it. So I went ahead and put that down. This little thrift store is one of my favorites in this area. So sometimes it's miss and it's miss for a really long time and I don't find anything here for a while. But right now this store has been producing some really good items to resell. But today all I end up finding is that arcade gun and I move on to the next store. So we are back at another Goodwill and the first thing I see is this Sunbeam Hot Shot on the top shelf. These always sell for really good money. I just sold one that was brand new for $100. And this one, I have it priced at $55 or best offer. So the graphics on this box caught my eye and I know that there are a couple other toys that are like a jump rope simulated toy that sell for good money. So I figured I should look into this one and I noticed on the box it said that it was toy of the year in 2004. So I checked eBay. I didn't see any listed or any sold in the last 90 days. So I used Terapeak, which again searches the last three years of solds. And I was able to see that one sold for $69.99 in 2021. And that was the last one ever listed or sold on eBay. So I priced mine at 100 or best offer. I've never heard of Birdie the shoe brand before, but these shoes look like a very high quality. And once I grabbed them and picked them up, I could tell these were going to be worth some money. And the price was really cheap on these and they were in really great condition. This one says new other. So I listed mine at $70 or best offer and I should be able to sell those. We'll see. They are a velvet, so it is the wrong time of year, but hopefully these will sell soon. And then just a couple shelves down, I found these women's patent leather Todd shoes and Todd's is another brand that does very, very well. These have a great resale value. So I'll probably list these for somewhere around $50 or best offer. So this ended up being my last stop of the day and this store usually has some great beauty products. So I did pick up that Bath and Body Works pillow mist. A lot of these sell very well. I just sold my last one for $55. So this one I'm probably gonna list somewhere around $25 or best offer. Even drugstore brands like Garnier Fructis, their items get discontinued and people pay top dollar for them. So I do check out this spray, but it didn't end up being worth anything. So I do end up putting that back. I scanned the barcode on this one into my eBay app. And as soon as I had seen that there were probably five of these listed at less than $15, I put that back eventually as well. Now I do buy this Liz Claiborne perfume and it's not really a huge reseller. I can probably get about $25 for this on Mercari. It's not all the way full. I'd say it's about 95, 96% full. So I do list that on Mercari. I have it currently listed. Crabtree and Evelyn is also another brand that I always look up when I find it. And this one also didn't end up being anything special. Discontinued American Eagle items sell for good money. And this is one of their lotions. Now, somebody auctioned this off. I would never auction an item like this off. I'm going to list mine for 25 or best offer. These are all the items I ended up looking up and I only picked up that cream and then the Liz Claiborne perfume. Now this is Salvation Army. This is a different day, different stop. And I end up picking up these Kohlhan boots. And normally I wouldn't, but they're my grandpa's size. They're size 13. So I figure if he doesn't like them, I should be able to resell these for somewhere around 50 to $60. These are the Kohlhan country boots. 
And then this is a brand I just learned about a couple months ago just from looking up shoes at the thrift store. And I do pick up these and I'm gonna list mine somewhere around 30 to $35 plus shipping or best offer. So this is another little honey hole stop that I have for discontinued beauty products. And this isn't discontinued, but I can't believe somebody donated this, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This is brand new in the box. Um, I am running a sale on my eBay store right now. So this is currently listed for $59 or best offer, but they're selling for anywhere between 60 to $65. And I was just at this store probably four or five days ago, so I'm not really digging through this too hard because I recognize a lot of these products from just being there a couple days ago. I have sold some men's Caesars Palace cologne in the past, so I do look up these women's lotions, but they did not have any resale value. So I did not pick those up. Now vision wear can be a slower seller for me, but I do pick up this pot. I think I can get around 30 to $35 for it. And I'm just checking for any chips, any flea bites, anything like that. And then even the ceramic coating on the bottom is still in really great shape it's not scratched up so i do pick up the bigger pan now this smaller one was in rougher condition the coating on the bottom is really chipped so i didn't even check it out any further than that so this ends up being the only two items that i pick up at this stop and i am done thrifting for the day okay guys so like i mentioned in the video Every day isn't a great day at the thrift store. I have bad days too. There's some days where I'll go to three, four thrift stores and find absolutely nothing. Or even yesterday, I went to, I believe it was two subdivision sales and I didn't come home with much. I probably stopped at 25 yard sales yesterday and I definitely struck out more than what I found. And I'd say I only found maybe two high ticket items that will sell for more than $50. So, but that would make boring content if I were to show you guys all of my strikeouts. So I just want you to know that, that it seems a lot easier than what it is, especially watching YouTube videos and watching other people thrift and other people sell items because of course, we're only gonna show you the good because that's what makes good content. So I am about to hit the road to Indiana and I have six estate sales and probably 15 thrift stores on my list. Um, we'll see how many we actually make it to. So definitely keep an eye out for those videos to start coming out next week or the week after. And you're, if you're interested to see what the items in this video sell for, keep an eye out for my YouTube shorts. I always post my what solds in my YouTube shorts or follow the link in my description of this video and I'll link my Facebook. I post daily content there. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you on my next video on Tuesday.